Welcome to our link G4X training part four. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look how to do a firmware update on our G4X box. So a firmware is gonna be what communicates between the software on our laptop and the hardware that's on the actual G4X board itself. If we don't have the proper firmware to the software that we're using, we're gonna have a mismatch or uh, issues that can develop because we're not going in communicating properly with that hardware. So the firmware process is gonna be something that most likely you're gonna to have to do in the course of owning your G4X product. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, what things we wanna look for, with what things we wanna avoid. Also taking a look at some other features and functions within our software that we haven't covered yet. So let's jump into this video so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at doing a firmware update on our Link G4X box, as well as taking a look at some other software functionality and our PC Link software. So the very first thing we're gonna do is talk about doing a firmware update. If you're unfamiliar with what firmware represents, firmware is going to be how the software here that we're programming and working with our PC Link software communicates with the hardware on our Link G4X box that we're using. So for example, if I'm programming something like my fuel table and I'm trying to have the fuel injector drivers open and close the injectors properly, if I don't have my firmware correct to the software I'm using, I might find that there's some kind of a deviation going on there. It might not control things properly. As our software gets developed from Link over time, more features and functions and corrections will be added into the software. We wanna make sure that when we're using the latest version of the PC Link software, that the firmware on our box is going to be updated as well, so there's no kind of deviations between the two, so that when our software is trying to communicate with the hardware on the box, everything is gonna function as expected. So what we're gonna do here in order to do a firmware update, it's actually really simple. We're gonna go up to the top here under ECU controls. Now I do wanna mention, if we look at the very top here, I'm in the online status. You wanna make sure that you have the key on in your vehicle, but the engine off. You don't wanna do a firmware update when the engine is running. Um, it's going to reboot the box and uh, I don't believe it'll even actually let you do the firmware update unless you have the engine off. So we can see up top here, engine speed is zero RPM. So I'm powered on, but my engine is off. So we're gonna go jump in here to ECU controls and move to our option here, update firmware. When we go into this option, we're going to find that we have at the very top here of the right portion of the screen, upgrading from 6.15.1. That's the current firmware that I'm on for the Atom G4 Xbox that I have in this training demonstration. And we're gonna be upgrading it to 6.16.27. So this is the latest firmware available that's associated with this version of my PC Link software that we just downloaded a few days ago in our very first uh, tutorial in this training course. So if we look to the left portion here, we can see available firmware and it's only giving us one option. So right now it's selecting it on there. If we wanna upgrade our firmware, this is the option that we're going to have. Now you may have several different options um, available to you. You always wanna choose the latest firmware update possible when you're going in and doing this. So if you have three choices here, always look for the highest number possible. So in this case, I'm going from 6.15.1 to 6.16.27. So if there was a 6.16.24 available here and a 6.16.27, I would choose this higher number option. That's the latest firmware revision that we wanna go and select. Now, in order to do the firmware update, we have to go here to read notes first. When we click on this, our box opens up here and it tells us what this particular firmware version that we're updating is going to be including or fixing or changing within uh, the communication between software and hardware. We can see if we take a look at our uh, options here, the G4X firmware version 6.16.27, um, and it's gonna show us all the different various things that have been changed. So, in this situation here, let's go and close the window. Once we close it, we can see that now we can go to upgrade. Upgrade's gonna allow us to actually do the firmware update. So we have to go and check the notes. It makes us do that as part of the process. You don't necessarily have to go and, and do that, but um, uh, read what's going on in that, that note section. But I like to go and just check on what's what the updates are. Uh, but now that we've closed that, we can do the upgrade. So I don't wanna go and power my box off when I'm doing the upgrade. That's very important. We don't wanna key cycle the box. We don't wanna interrupt the power. If you're unsure if your battery is in good condition or not, put your battery on a charger before you do the upgrading process. We wanna make sure the battery voltage doesn't get too low and the box potentially shuts off. So all things that could happen or I've seen happen over the course of time of doing a lot of tuning and firmware updates on a various different amount of systems and vehicles, always make sure that you have your battery voltage sufficient and you don't interrupt the power, whatever you do. So 
I'm gonna go here and click upgrade since I know my battery is consistent on the round 11, 12 volts, and I know that my engine is off again, engine RPM is zero. So if I click upgrade here, we're gonna go, uh, it's gonna ask us if we've seen the notes, we'll just say yes, and it's gonna tell us it's gonna be overriding the existing firmware. Do I wanna continue with the operation? I'm gonna say yes here, and we're gonna allow it to do the firmware update. So we're just gonna be patient while it does the update. It can take up to about a minute to two minutes in some cases to do the firmware update. We can see here, programming has started, please wait. So I'm gonna allow it to do that. As soon as it's finished, we'll continue on filming here. Okay, so now it's finished that firmware updating. We can see ECU is ready to run. It's gonna say the program is complete. I'll click okay here in my box. And now I can close this and it's already done the upgrade. I don't have to go and do this again. And in fact, if we pop open this window again, um, let's go close this. If your box shifts from link and it's going to be- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.